What's up guys? So uh a buddy of mine from work had this uh, little problem. <clears throat> so we'll start out with this was a uh, show clear, air clear, I promise. Both firearms are clear. Magazine is clear. So <clears throat> this uh, Glock 22, uh, I'm not a Glock guy, so this was kind of a new experience for me. Um, this gun works fine. It's ugly as hell, but, um, you know, it works. So this gun is going to come back into the conversation. He had bought a uh, polymer 80 clip kit for a um, Glock 17, so um, did a real nice job on you know drilling it and uh, you know taking the barrel port down and all that, the the channel barrel channel and all that. So did a really nice job. It was real. Did, it took his time and so. Long story short, um, he found um, found this barrel, uh, this basically this whole upper. He found uh, the slide barrel uh, fully assembled in a lower parts kit on eBay and bought it. It's a Glock factory uh, setup for this Polymer 80. Well, whenever he put it on, what uh, what was happening was it would not fire the, the the striker would not go forward what you had to do to make it fire was push it ever so gently rearward to get it to fire as you can see we don't have that problem now um i took it apart i sat there and thought about it for all night last night um sitting in my chair i took them apart looked at them swapping back and forth because here's the crazy thing you could take this upper off this glock 22 and put it on the polymer 80 and it would work just fine you did not have to push the slide back to get it to work also you could take this glock 17 setup and put it on this frame and it would work flawlessly the only um, issue was the Glock 17 slide on the polymer 80 which I thought was pretty weird and it was intriguing so um, I took everything apart got looked at it everything looked fine nothing nothing was really out of spec so um, So, um, you know, this, this particular slide had, did not have that much wear in it. Everything seemed to be, you know, up to par. Nothing was, you know, stood out. You know, um, this was the trigger, uh, group that he had gotten for it, um, off eBay. Nothing looked out of place. Everything looked fine. So... I kept thinking, you know, what the hell could it possibly be if you could push it back and pull the trigger and it would work, but if you didn't touch it. I got to where I could actually just tap it with my finger. And I mean, it was just a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of force that took to release um, the firing pin. So I took everything apart and uh, just to see, I took the trigger group out of this gun and put it in the polymer 80 and it worked. So I thought I'd fixed it well, um, and it worked both ways. So I could put either slide on either pistol and it would work. And then I kept messing with this one and I loaded it up with dummy rounds and, uh, in a mag and, and then the, the strike kept getting softer and softer and softer. So I said, well, what the hell like, could that be? So, um, turned out it was not, um, 
the trigger group at all, really. Um, I started looking through the rear of the slide with a flashlight, and I could see um, right here. Right here was not letting go. You could pull back on the on the trigger and you could see the slide move back ever so slightly and you could see that it wasn't going down far enough to release the hook right here. So I kept chasing it down, chasing it down. Um, and then what I come up with, uh, at the very end of all this, the takedown spring right here for these little, for this little takedown in this particular frame was too high. So I took the one out of this one, put it in here. And voila, it worked. Um, so ultimately what I did was, is I matched, this one had, a, I think that this kit that he got with this slide and this lower parts kit, I think it was from a Gen 2. I'm not sure. That's kind of the best, inf best I could get um, information wise due to the, what, the shape of the uh, connector bar. Um, so, and it, so the, the um, takedown spring had the, just a straight L shape and it was too stuck up too high. And what it was doing, I think, was is it was uh, the takedown lever was catching and holding the slide too far forward just a tiny bit. And whenever I shortened it and dropped the height of this takedown lever, it allowed it to sit in its natural place without and, and without. Um, having to push back on it. Um, so I took and bent it in kind of the same shape as the one that goes in here, and it works. Uh, both pistols work. Um, they got a, I, I polished up the part, the, you know, the points of contact on the tree groups, and it made them feel a lot better, but still a, still a Glock trigger um, but yeah that was uh, that was pretty interesting I've never had to uh, deal with anything like that but then again I've never messed with uh, polymer 80s uh, but it was a pretty cool process and uh, been able to Sherlock Holmes the hell out of it and just uh, keep with it until I got it figured out and so uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be uh, taking a class with the uh, Southeast Texas practical shooters uh, and uh, so I'll be able to have a chance tomorrow to take it out and shoot it, uh, see how it works and make sure everything performs. So uh, I hope this helped any of you that may be dealing with these uh, Polymer 80 V2s, uh, that that is a possible um, snag to your build is this right here. That's all it was. Completely shut this whole thing down. So that's just something to keep in mind that whenever you're building these polymer 80s, you know, nobody's going to touch these things. No gunsmiths that I know of. Uh, the guy had tried to take it to all kinds of gunsmiths and nobody would even talk to him about it. So keep that in mind whenever you're doing stuff like this. You're on your own. You, you really are. You're on your own. So if you, if you decide to go this route, just know that one screw up can cost you the cost you know the price of this uh frame and it may not be even worth it to you so just keep that in mind whenever you're building these things that you know it doesn't take but just a tiny tiny fraction of a measurement to be off and get the tolerance to where this whole gun is completely dead so uh, anyway if you have any questions about this uh feel free to leave a comment or contact me through whatever social media you know me on if not, I don't care. I mean, nobody watches these videos anyway. It's just for me, I guess. Anyway, take it easy.